Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hello, my name is Gabby and welcome to a day in my life working three jobs. I know having this many jobs might sound a little wild, but let me explain. I've always been creative, but I definitely felt the pressure to get a quote, real job. So since I liked science and math, I got an engineering degree and have been working as an engineer ever since I graduated college. I've also been a dancer my whole life. And about three years ago, I started dancing professionally in the NBA, which is such a dream come true. But you know, having two jobs just wasn't quite enough. So about a year ago, I started taking my art more seriously and documenting the journey online and now between engineering, dance, creating an art business, YouTube, Patreon, I definitely have at least three jobs, but honestly, it might be more at this point. Now, let's resume my morning. Stone Terrace and down a graceful LA, where white and canvas and colorful bursts of hibiscus made more perfect alchemy of flavors. Rachel sighed audibly. You were right, Nick. Okay. This is my photo study. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Ow! That was so hot! <laughs> good morning. I'm super excited because I have breakfast, coffee, and a winning attitude. So today I have quite the busy day. I have a game to go dance at. I need to be there at like 3.30. And then I am working my engineering job during the day. And then I'm also hoping to finish a Patreon video because I like to post those by the end of the month. And today is January 30th, so I don't have a lot of time to finish that video. I'm trying to start my day in a calm manner at least, so I made myself some breakfast and I'm going to do some journaling. It is now 8.15 and I'm going to sit my butt over there and work. Seems like nobody wants to work anymore these days. Oh, there's my normal alarm. Usually I wake up at 8.30 and today I woke up at 7.00. So we'll see if I crash. My humidifier is right here. I sit by this thing all day. And that is the only thing that gets me through the winter now. So that's cool. Usually in the morning, I just go through emails, no matter what job it is that I'm doing, whether it's my engineering job or doing like content stuff. There's some sort of Zen in getting to inbox zero on my work account. computer background. It's very professional. Cafe Bossa playlist on Spotify. So good. I personally can't listen to songs with lyrics and read. At the same time, my brain, I can't. But Bossa Nova is perfect because I don't speak Portuguese at all. So I have no idea what they're saying and the vibes are just great. So far, I've been very productive working this morning. Maybe I should start waking up early more. I don't know what's up with me. I am just like a freaking rock star today. Usually I don't feel like this. I'm tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm awake. Hey, so I finished engineering job. So job one of three today. <laughs> complete. I'm giving myself a little break before I start working on my Patreon video. It's kind of fun to make Patreon videos now because I just kind of use the footage that I decide not to use for YouTube. Like sometimes I'm doing stuff with like friends or with my boyfriend and I just feel kind of weird putting it on YouTube sometimes. So yeah, it's like fun for me to edit these videos because there's a bunch of like usually silly and goofy stuff. Oh my gosh, I went thrifting the other day. I'm so excited about it. I got it for $12. Really cool olive green color. The inside smells so old. So that's cool. I feel like I have a lot of like really ugly storage around my place. Like, you know, 
this kind of thing. So I figure why not put things in a cool storage container? Also, <laughs> I got this book for $2. It's called The Romance of Country Inns, and I want to use it for drawing references because the interior design in here, absolutely unhinged. This is just a lot of pattern. Look at this. It's so Valentine's Day. I really am finding the joy lately in like drawing things that I like. Like, duh. <laughs> Look at that. Are you kidding me? How would I even go about drawing that? I'm not even sure. But like, look at the little rabbit on the table. Um, I don't know, these places are just so interesting. I love getting drawing inspo from Pinterest, but I just feel like sometimes drawing from a book or from real life can be extra fun. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I only work 20 hours a week at my engineering job, so it's not like a typical nine to five, 40 hours a week type job. Um, so it's nice that I can like kind of log off of that job and do a little bit of like my art and YouTube stuff that I really really like to do um, before I go dance for eight hours. Okay, yeah. Editing time. Let's go! Before I continue with my day, I want to take a moment to shout out today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you don't know, Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives like you and me. They offer a variety of classes in topics like photography, graphic design, cooking, business, and more. And whether you're working on your creative career, your hobbies, or your well-being, Skillshare has a class for you. Skillshare also has learning paths, which are collections of classes designed to be taken in order to provide you with the full depth you need to truly understand the topic. Because they've already handpicked the courses for you, it takes all of the guesswork out of choosing a class and you know you're going to get a great learning experience. The learning path I've been working through is called Your Creative Business, and as an aspiring small business owner who has never taken any sort of business class, walking away from this learning path with a brand story and a social media strategy in hand was so valuable. So if you want to give Skillshare a try, the first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial. They've been such an amazing supporter of my channel and my creativity since day one, so please go invest in yourself and experience Skillshare for free. You're supporting my channel by doing so and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Mwah. Okay, now let's get back to the day. Okay, the video is exporting. I did it and now I actually have like an hour until I need to leave for the stadium for the game. So I'm going to get ready right now. I'm about to put on literally so much makeup. Uh, you're not even gonna know I hate you. You're gonna be shocked. Get ready. Hello. And welcome to my get ready with me. I like making these, they're funny. Every single time I have to go dance at a game, I spend quite a bit of time doing my hair and makeup. And you might be thinking, Gabby, isn't it like the afternoon? Doesn't an NBA game not start until like 7 p.m.? I hate how that looks. Yeah, so NBA games don't start until seven usually, but call time is usually around 3.30 p.m. Back when I was full time at my engineering job, I would try my very best to work like six hours at my engineering job. And then I would go, work like six to seven more hours, not including the time that it takes to get ready at my dance job. I don't have a mirror, so please excuse if I am staring into my little viewfinder. So I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A while I get ready. I asked for some questions over my Instagram. Okay, the first question, how are you keeping up with your time management with your three jobs plus social media? Oh, just got concealer all over my pants. Sick. Struggling with time management is probably one of the biggest reasons why I decided to go down to 20 hours a week at that job. So now I feel like a huge thing that helps me with time management is I do time blocking on my calendars. If I schedule out exactly like when I am working my day job, when I am working on dance stuff, 
when I am working on YouTube stuff, when I'm working on art stuff, it really just helps my mind be able to switch into like each mode that I need to get into. So that would be like my biggest piece of concrete advice. But in terms of like how I am doing with it <laughs> on a deep level, I think unfortunately over the course of the past three years, I have majorly burnt myself out. Um, so while it may seem like I am handling everything pretty well, and I think for the most part, I do handle things pretty well, I'm just kind of, starting to grow tired but it's okay like life goes through its seasons and i think all things considered i'm managing pretty well okay now i have to do my eyebrows i didn't ever realize how weird it looks to have brown eyebrows with my blue hair but okay good enough next question how do you keep motivated to do it all for a long time i was working towards like my studies, like my academics, and doing things like art or dance were always just like my fun side things. And I think now I'm really motivated at the idea of like truly living a creative life and um, building up my creative outlets into something bigger than just a hobby. I think if you're struggling with motivation, it can also be super helpful to like identify your true north and think about the little baby steps that you can make you know, today, this week, this month, towards that goal, you get to decide what is your definition of good enough and just remember to be nice to yourself when working towards goals. How did you find the courage to post your first YouTube video? This is a fun question. I think that once I made my first video, I kind of just shrugged my shoulders and was like, I'm just gonna put this out there and see what happens. And I kind of told like no one in my real life about it. I think that a big concern that a lot of people have is like, what if people in my real life find this video? Anyone that has put themselves out there and has made content themselves would never make fun of you for posting a video. It's only the people that are too afraid themselves to post a video that would think of making fun of you. No one in my current life would really make fun of me, I don't think. And if they do, then like, I don't really wanna be friends with them. You know what I mean? You know, everyone has to start somewhere. Every single YouTuber that has like a million subscribers at one point had zero subscribers and posted their first video too. You got nothing to lose by trying in my opinion. And yeah, that's my advice on that. So I got a few questions asking kind of about like, how do you start on social media if you have no following? I just checked and a year ago I had about 300 subscribers on YouTube and about 700 followers on Instagram. So I have been there. My strategy wasn't to like even really strategize at first. I was really just trying to like search for genuine connection with people. So I would say think about what makes you not only unique, but also like similar to other people. I also think it's really important to think about what your goal is on social media. I think it's important to know whether you are looking for connections with people or you're looking for, you know, people to buy things from your art shop. Like those are very different types of videos you'd probably be making. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Another piece of advice I could generally give is like experiment a lot when you're getting started. So yeah, I hope all that advice was helpful. I am going to finish my face. So this is what my makeup looks like so far. Wow, my camera looks really good right now. Now I have to put on fake eyelashes. Wait, should I zoom in? <laughs> oh my God, I have like no depth perception right now. Okay, I'm gonna go run to a mirror and see if that worked. This is how I look for games. I usually do my hair once I get there. I have made an utter mess of my desk. Oh wait, I forgot. <coughs> I was eating noodles before leaving. Look at what is on me. It's part of my eyelash that I cut off. Honestly, most of the time I forget to eat lunch on game days, which is, not good, not good for me. Before I leave, I'm gonna answer one more question. Someone asked me, what's my favorite kind of chocolate? My favorite is like dark chocolate with like orange flavor or dark chocolate with like sea salt and almonds or caramel. 
That's my favorite. Hey, <laughs> I'm driving now. It's been a long time since I've vlogged in the car. And I don't remember how I keep my camera sitting here. Right now you're sitting on top of my scarf. So I'm hoping that works. Um, yeah, it's about an hour before call time. I feel like any dancer or performer could relate, but like you just never can be late <laughs> to these things. And like, I don't know, it's just drilled into my mind as a dancer that like, Unless you're 15 minutes early, you're late, <laughs> you know? Hi, my plan to vlog while driving did not go very well. I kept passing cops and then I was like, is it legal to vlog while driving? And then I said, probably not. Mm, please don't focus on, please focus on me. Um, I can't film once I'm inside, but let me paint you a picture of what I'm in store for. So I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna go to the locker room. I am going to go onto the court and we do an on-court rehearsal. Sometimes it's really chaotic because players will come out and start doing drills and stuff. So then there's like basketballs and like NBA players in our dancing formation. And then usually once we're done with rehearsal, we get to go eat dinner and then the game happens and we dance and it's awesome. So that's what I'm about to go do. post-game meal here. Look how big this pizza is compared to my hand. For reference, pizza. should this be the thumbnail? <laughs> okay, good night. Hello, it's me from the future. Just wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And I wanted to take a moment to shout out my patrons. Your support means the absolute world to me. You can join my Patreon and get exclusive things like digital downloads every month, like phone wallpapers and icon packs. And I also make a monthly podcast and exclusive video over there. So go check it out if you're interested. Also, please let me know what your thoughts are on carrot cake. That's been a hot debate in my life lately. A lot of people hate carrot cake and I just, I think it's really good. So, let me know what you think about that. Remember, you can get a free month of Skillshare on me by clicking the link in my description. I think that's everything I had to say. Remember that you rock and you can do anything that you put your mind to and I will see you in the next one. Bye.